the Luangra River, right next to the National Park and the conservation area. We'll be across the river from the park. It should be a very exciting week here in Zambia. We had some glitches at the ultimate shop. It wasn't a long flight, but it was so cold in the plane we almost died. And after an hour at 8 to 10 degrees, we were looking forward to the hot atmosphere of the African bush. After several unsuccessful stalks on Kevin's ranch, It was the second time I was traveling toward the banks of the Luanga River. This was the physical boundary of the famous reserve. They are on top of that peak, near that peak with a spike camp. And there's probably bigger tour up there. There's probably sham up there that haven't been hunted. We would have backpacked from base camp up there. We would have backpacked from spike camp up there and been able to look in all those ridges. Stay tuned, we'll be on the After our short visit with Kevin, our next destination was Elcho Island, early in the morning. shot. Zambia, the beginning of May, sun's rays. The route, for the most part, passed through this cracked and dried clay soil, the penal colony to which the unmanageable and criminal British citizens were banished forever. For more than 200 years, the city has been growing and becoming an ever more beautiful and comfortable place for living for... Now the single-seater plane was going to take us into the heart of the only preserved place in Australia. We are at the camp already. For more than 10 years, almost disappeared. The legends of the healing qualities of the pangolin were the cause of its almost complete extermination. There are some documented stories of commercial ships sailing from here to China loaded with tons of pangolin meat. The mission of the ultimate shot is to show you some exceptional skills in shooting. Big In this episode of Ultimate Shot, we will hunt grizzly in the areas where in 1896, the gold fever attracted thousands of gold diggers. Cantabrian chamois are hunted in the Cantabrian mountains, which extend for more than 180 miles across northern Spain, from the western limit of the Pyrenees to the border of Galicia, near the coast of the Cantabrian Sea. So we will embark on a journey to the virgin rainforests of Vancouver Island, British Columbia, and a black bear's paradise. Travel with us as we follow nature's food chain. We're in Addis Ababa, which is the capital of Ethiopia, and tomorrow morning we'll be chartering a plane down to a town called Robe, and from there driving about an hour up to our Odobulu camp, which is our concession up in the Bali Mountains, one of our two concessions. After we finish on we're going to go into the Ethiopian National Museum here. 
and eaters abducted 28 workers from the construction site of a railway bridge over the Tsavo River. Even more shocking are the historic records of Tanganyika, now Tanzania, where a pride of lions terrorized the locals for 10 years. Record keeping started in 1930 and confirmed that by the end of 1940, man-eating lions had killed and eaten between 1,500 and 2,000 people. It is usually the rule that these attacks are made by old sick animals incapable of catching their natural prey. That stretches along much of the western border of Alberta. It is characterized by forests of coniferous trees such as spruce, fir and pine. In the past, the coast of Mozambique was a medial point in the trade between the Middle East and India for transporting slaves and gold. After the state declared its independence in 1975, an exhausting civil war started. Second biggest cat on earth after the tiger. Today, only some historical evidence of the presence of lions is left in Europe. And in Asia, it can be seen only in the forest of Gur in northwestern India, where only several hundred specimens have survived. But in Africa, where lions are hunted under strict control, they still feel like masters of their environment, and they often remind the people of their status. The abductions of people from the railway construction along the Tsavo River are still remembered, when within a period of nine months, a total...